uh, thank you, thank you uh, for having us again. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Ahmed Chigrik, and I am here with my associate, uh, Dr. Berkin Binay, and we will be talking about the ethical. Uh, we'll, we will be talking about the ethical aspect of child labors uh, that your company currently is dealing. So, uh, seeking a solution for a problem is uh, developed according to, to uh, according to answers given to why and how questions, uh, and uh, at the definition step of examination. Uh, the starting point of an assessment is as important as the uh, actual solution of the problem. Nowadays, companies uh, ignore the human factor, uh, ignore the human factor, na uh, namely child labor, which is the employment of ch uh, employ employment of children in uh, in an industry when illegal, I illegal or considered uh, exploited. According to in uh, international labor organization. Uh, Ch child labor uh, refer, uh, refers mentally, uh, socially, uh, physically, and uh, morally uh, uh, dangerous and harmful to children, and, interfer and interferes their schooling, depriving them, of, uh, depriving them of the op opportunity to attend school, uh, op uh, op obliging them to leave school uh, prematurely, requ and requiring them to attempt, uh, attempt to combine school attendance with uh, excessive, excessively long and heavy, uh, heavy working conditions. Uh, so, uh, uh, in its in its most uh, in its most extreme forms, uh, child child labor uh, child labor uh, involves being enslaved, separated from their uh, families, and being exposed to serious ha hazards and illnesses. So, our proposed system will uh, help these children fulfill their need of uh, uh, fulfill their need of living, and also provide them. Uh, uh, provide provide them proper education. Now we all know that there aren't only black and white solution uh, white of solutions in reality. So our system is situated in the gray, uh, in the gray area that aims to help that aims to help uh, aims to create the most appropriate uh, situations for children and your company. So we aim to enable companies to use uh, your uh, we aim to uh, enable your company to use, uh, use the labor force in the most effective way possible. So the system not only keeps the, uh, not only helps to uh, let, let the children work and not only helps to keep the children in the workplace, but it also provides them technical training uh, about the production process and uh, academic, uh, uh, academic education uh, on high school level, which will be provided by uh, teachers uh, uh, nearby headquarters. So, if you look at the current situation, we can see uh, we can see that uh, sol solutions up to this day aren't effective and uh, isn't sustainable in uh, in the long run. So, in order to uh, develop a solution a sustainable system, we propose a solution uh, integrative, uh, integ integrative and adaptive solution, which is based on uh, utilitarian theory in ethics literature. According to approach, this approach, uh, regardless of purpose of what the purpose, uh, what the parties do, uh, behaving in the best way uh, is defined as getting the highest gain or least loss for each uh, side of the equation. In other words, uh, the utilitarian theory suggests maximizing the benefits of each side. At this point, we have to clarify. Uh, what is not ethical in your situation of working with ch child labor? Poor working conditions and long working hours are physically, mentally, and uh, psychologically harmful to children. Due to being harmed and demotivated, the productivity of these children, these children uh, will decrease. And thus, the production process of your company will also get weaker in the long run. In addition to children's demotivation, the society will consist of unhappy and isolated individuals. Acting according to dictated rules and removing children from the working environment, working environment does not contribute to the uh, elimination of existing problems of child labor. Moreover, apart, of, uh, apart, apart from uh, being an ineffective solution, it will cause situations in which children may face, may face uh, even worse and severe conditions as it happened in Bangladesh example. 
children who were dismissed started to work in mainly uh, in informal sectors and street activities, including uh, brick chipping, selling flowers, <coughs> and even prostitution. This shows us we should primarily consider the applicability of a solution in terms of its outcomes in different conditions. Our solution uses a pragmatic approach for generating a topic like child labor that focuses on doing what we can do now uh, instead of uh, trying to eradicate uh, the problems with inapplicable solutions in the future. Children are preferred by companies due to their cost on the wages uh, relatively lower than uh, adult, labors, adult labor. Uh, on the other hand, there are crucial reasons why these children are working uh, for, including even uh, for their survival. It's necessary to evolve this one-sided system of benefits to, into one that uh, mutually protects in terms of uh, in, in interest of both company, both your company and the children. Through implementing our system, your company will become the heart of society made of qualified and self-developed uh, indiv individuals working for a better future. Thanks for having us and we are hoping to work with you uh, in the soon future.